good morning my people I'm back this is Amanda welcome back to my channel I'm thinking of calling myself something like either dimples from Brooklyn or Brooklyn diva I don't know what you guys think I mean besides my name Amanda but I also would like to have my channel known as dimples from Brooklyn because you know I do got dimples or was it Brooklyn Diva? Let me know what you guys think. If not, I'll just leave it as Amanda. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm trying to keep it consistent because I do want to grow in this YouTube community. So I'm going to keep making videos as much as I can. This is actually my third video. I'm having my cup of coffee. It's actually Valentine's mon morning. Happy Valentine's, guys. Happy, happy Valentine's. Um, having my cup of coffee, hazelnut from Dunkin' Donuts with a little bit of cream. Let me get a sip. Oh, I also want to share with you guys. I put lashes on. Can you tell? I mean, my first time. No, actually, it's my second time because I put them for my daughter's 316 last year. But someone put them for me. This is my first time actually doing it myself. It took me forever. I guess practice makes perfect. But I don't think I did a bad job. I actually like them. It's not too dramatic. So maybe I'll start putting lashes on more often. I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, on my last video, I didn't have no nails on. But guess what? I told you once I get off my video... I was going to put my nails on. I put my press-on nails. Look at my press-on nails, ladies. Don't sleep on the press-on nails. They look like I went to the actual nail salon. And I love them. I don't know what these are called. Pointy nails? Um, They're not coffin. I don't know what they're called. But they look so natural. They look so pretty. I love them. And another thing. In my last video, I show you these two books that I had. The Unspoken is a soft cover. The cat trying to get my coffee. But I didn't say the price. This retail for $8.99 in the US and $9.99 in Canada. That's one thing I did I failed to mention in my last video. And it's a soft cover book. And then the other one from Joe Biden is a hardcover book. And it retail for $27 in the U.S. and $33 in Canada. Hardcover book. So now I'm going to share my haul. In no particular order, I'm just going to grab stuff. So be now, I'm on books as we speak right now. I'm going to show you two books that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. This one's called The Chicken Soup for the Soul. Say hello to a better body. Lo weight loss and fitness for women over 50. I'm not 50. I'm 45. I'll be 46 this year. So, you know, it's always good to be prepared. Look into stuff. Because, you know, once we get older, sorry to say, ladies, but our metabolism slows down. We start, don't have the same energy. We gain, we eat, and the food just stays there. So, it's hard to get rid of it because you know as we get older it sucks but um it's always good to read on how to stay healthy and to try and apply yourself well anyway this is a soft cover book <laughs> it says a great combination of uh, intelligent advice and inspirational stories women over 50 can look and feel fabulous okay Anyway, this book retail for, oh my God, it has a stick on it. Let me see if I could take this stick off right quick without peeling it. Yeah, I peeled it all right. I don't even have a price. I don't even have a price. Nope, this don't have a price. Sorry guys, this don't have a price. <laughs> And this one is called, oh, this is from the same author? 
This one is chicken soup for the soul. I didn't realize this. Chicken soup for the soul. Happily ever after. Fun and heartwarming stories about finding and enjoying your mate. And this is a soft cover book. And they don't have a price either. Mm, I don't know. Well, it, was look, it looked interesting. Our 101 best stories about relationships. So look it, chick. I didn't even realize it's like the same title, Chicken Soup Soul. Chicken Soup for the Soul. And it's not from the same, no, it's not the same author. This is more of a medical bill, book, and this is more like a, you know, story type. Anyway, those are the only two books I picked up. Now I picked up some mask. I'm missing a mask. Oh, right here. I picked up some mask for my boy's basket. Um, Valentine's basket. I this is the last items because today is Valentine's and I'm giving their bags today. Actually, I'll probably give my oldest son his bag tomorrow because he's out and about enjoying his day, you know. And my middle one, he's working, but I'm going to stop by his job and drop off his bag. And like I mentioned before, my daughter has her bag. So, this is a few last things. I Oh, maybe I should leave it for Easter. No, I they need mask now. So, I got the yellow one for Tommy because he likes the yellow mask. And it's three in a pack. They the disposable adult face mask. Then I bought Kevin the brown one because his uniform is brown. So maybe he could use this brown one. Um, the same thing, three, three disposable mask. Got him that one to put in his Valentine's basket. Then I bought this one because my uniform is blue. So I bought this one, blue plaid. I like this one. I bought this one for me. Then I bought some socks. Even though Valentine, matter of fact, I'm putting down putting these on today. These are Valentine socks, and I'm putting on these bad boys today. Love with the two hearts. I'm putting these on bad, putting these on today. Then I bought these pink ones with this little cute little. I don't know what is that animal. What is that, guys? Tell me what is that. I don't know what it is. It. I'm ha ham hock. Is it? I don't know. Then I bought these gray ones, three for a dollar. Not bad. Size nine, five to nine, athletic socks. I like these, you know, for work. Especially in the summertime when, this is where my sneakers are kept. Oh, then I bought these, the no-show socks. I love these. The no-shows and when I wear my sneakers and you don't, you know, wear shorts or capris and you don't want to wear socks. I think I got to sneeze, guys. Excuse me. So these are the no-show socks by Etsy. Etsy. I love these. Like when I wear my Vans or my Uptowns, you don't see socks. I don't like to show my socks. Then I bought these for Easter, so I'm going to start buying stuff for my daughter's basket. I bought some Easter socks with the little bunny. So you already know, I already started with the Easter. Valentine's over, now we're jumping into Easter. So that's for my daughter. That's about it for socks. Then I bought some sunflower seeds. I love sunflower seeds. You see, you can tell I already went into it. Yes, I was supposed to do a video yesterday. Funny story. But right when I was right about to start recording, guess who walks in? Kevin, my oldest. And it was going to be so awkward for me to start talking in the camera and videotaping me. And he's going to start laughing at me and making comments. I'm I just not comfortable yet recording in front of them. So... I waited and I waited. He came home from work. He usually he usually comes home, take a shower, and he leaves. Yesterday he decides to stay and wash a load of clothes. Then the clothes that he washed, he needed them, so he had to wait for it to be dried. So I'm like, bro, are you going out? And he's like, yeah, but I'm waiting for my clothes to dry. Why? I was because like, I want to record it and I'm getting tired. Sure enough. He stood a little too longer, and I was just too tired to record. I was like, I'll record tomorrow. Anyway, so while I was waiting for him to leave, which he did it, I started uh, watching a Lifetime movie and eating some sunflower seeds. 
So I got two bags just to have. So that's that. <laughs> oh, and I bought this. The Axe Clean Soap. It smells good. And um, I think I'm going to put this in their Valentine's bag as well. For one for Tommy and one for Kevin. So I bought that too. Let me keep this on the side so I could put that there in the Valentine's bag. Let me put the, the mask there too so I can know what's going to go in the basket right now. Then I bought boring stuff. I saw I like buying these dish, um, dish soap dish. So I have two bathrooms here. So I put one in the boys' bathroom and one in, um, my bathroom to replace the one that I have now. I like to replace them after a certain amount of time. So when I clean the bathroom, I'm gonna replace the new ones, the old ones with the new ones. I like these, these stick to the wall, they have the suction and they don't fall, it's durable, it's very strong. I love these, I love them. So I always buy this in the, in the bathroom and replace them. Remember I mentioned to you about my coloring book? Well, look at my crayons. I can't wait to crayon. I can't wait to color. I might color today. I might color today, this evening. So, my crayons. Then I bought this thing, because I've been wanting to do like, um, like in the sink, you know, after a while that, that coat on the side, it peels off. It, it just looks ugly. So I just, what is it called? All, prop, all purpose chalk, mastic, tout usage. Use on tubs, sink, windows, trim, and more. Order this, paintable, external, internal. So I'm going to try this. I hope I don't need the damn metal thing to squeeze it out. I don't got that. Hopefully I could just squeeze it and then pass my finger and make it look fresh. You know what I mean? Like around the toilet rim, I want to do in the sink. And in the boys' bathroom, the tub needs it. So I'm going to do a little home improvement in the apartment. So we'll see about that. Guys, I need to put you on to this. You guys know I have a fur baby, and his name is Milky. Oh, I mentioned his name, he's coming. So, I have bought this with intentions to put in the bathroom in the small waste baskets. When I opened this up, I was surprised, I was shocked. I was like, oh no, this is not gonna fit. Because, it, even though it says diaper disposable bag, I thought it was like for a little basket, you know? When I opened it up, and I show passion. So passion, what are we gonna do with this? This is not gonna cover the the basket. Like this is what's this? And then the curtain is. Guess what? We could use this for Milky's poop bag. Cause we used to buy them, or we used to take back there. Remember, we used to have. I had my cabinet full of shopping bags from the grocery stores. You know, stuff a big a shopping bag and a whole bunch of shopping bags inside the shopping bag. Yeah, now we don't have that because now we gotta buy. As a matter of fact, they eliminated that, you know. So we used to, the boys used to take or Pastor used to take a shopping bag from the cabinet, or um, maybe once in I think once we bought a little roll for the poop bag, but then we said no, nah, we just using plastic bags because I always have plastic bags here. Who, what Puerto Rican household don't have plastic bags inside plastic bags inside plastic bags? Okay, maybe not now, but back back a year ago, we had tons of it. So, we were using that for Milky's poop bag. But then, when I saw this, I said, we could use this for Milky's poop bag. And it's the perfect size with the little handles. And that's what we do religiously. Now, this is a staple in my house. And it comes 75 little bags in the box. And you'll find this in the baby aisle. In the baby aisle, you must. If you have a fur baby, you need to use this as your poop bag. Perfect size, and it does the job. 75 in the box. This is a, a must-have if you have a fur baby. Always have that in the house. Then I found these little books. The book, the little notebook that everybody's talking about on YouTube. That looks like the happy days, the happy planner, something like that. I, I don't own one of those. But this is the, the book that everybody's been talking about. So I was like, I want one because this everybody's talking about this. I wanted to I was trying to look for the one with the black pages, but they didn't have it. They didn't have this one. Let's see. 
you see look at the pages pink with lines it's good to keep little notes i might put this in my daughter's easter basket maybe she don't really write no more now she graduated from high school my baby girl graduated she graduated early so she's uh i officially have all my children graduated from high school I just needed one more and she was the one that graduated. Her actual, her actual virtual graduation is February 26th. But she's officially done with school. So she's gonna go to college. Maybe she went for college, I don't know. Let's see. Then I bought me some files. I put this in, I think I put this in Oh no, I put this in the East in the Christmas stockings. I gave this for them in the East and the Christmas stocking. But I needed one for me. So I bought the diamond brand. Diamond. It's pretty. I like it. I like it. The pattern. Then this, I everybody been talking about this. Like there's something called the makeup vanishing towel. No soap needed. Everybody's saying like this is like the dupe of uh the most expensive i don't know i don't ever tried it because i go old school wash my face with you know not soap because i wash my face soap but you know um facial cleanser and stuff like that but i never mm, like sema i use whatever in my face you know so i know it's not healthy because i'm not you know doing it right but at least i don't wash it with soap so i bought this to try it because everybody's been talking about it and uh, let's see how this works. I'm, I'm curious to find out if all my makeup comes off with this. Because I be using the, the Garnier, Fruities Garnier, the, mas, mas, the ma, that water. Um, but uh, with the cloth, the, the little cotton balls from, cotton, from Dollar Tree. I use that. Or I just use like coconut oil. Like, you know, Vaseline. Basic stuff. Like, you know. But I'm going to try this. Can't wait to try this. Then I bought, I found this Real Technique foundation applicator. I don't know how that's gonna work. Full coverage foundation applicator. And it says use dry. So we're gonna try that one day. Then I found the mousse. This mousse, from what I heard, is like more than like between seven to ten dollars a mousse it comes i it came in finishing spray the mousse and some other spray i have the finishing spray and i have mousse but i just saw it again i said let me rack up on some mousse my mom likes mousse so maybe when she comes here she'll probably take it you know take some with her but this is a good brand from what i heard i haven't tried it on my hair but i have it there just in case i need it I think, oh, this is for Tommy. I showed this already. So I got, that's in his Easter basket. I don't know how it's to put it in. Did I show you guys this? Anyway, I don't know. But I bought a manicure set, pedicure set, pedicure set. Cause like I told you, I don't do my, go to the nail salon unless I really, really have to do my feet. Like it's that time. But other than that, if it's just a change of polish, I'm just, I just needed a pedicure set. I bought one for passion in green. She took the green and I and she left me the pink. So I just use this to change my polish and my feet until the summertime comes and then my butt will go to the nail salon to to have my feet cute for when I open my, when I use my sandals. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm a little too comfortable with this camera now. Woo! Now you really guys gonna see who Amanda is. <laughs> I crack myself up and I'm here by myself. <laughs> anyway, came back to this. I also heard good stuff about this. It's called Range Salt Himalaya Pink Salt Nasal Nasal Inhaler. I ha I suffer from bad allergies. If you guys would have saw me yesterday, you look like I got punched in my eyes. Like they get it was all puffy down here. They were itching me so bad. Like, I suffer from bad allergies. So, and sometimes it's stuffy, you know, and I have to be like, you know, Puerto Rican, put some Vicks up in my nose so I could breathe. 
because every Puerto Rican household has Vicks. <laughs> Vicks kills everything. So in order for me to breathe, I, I just put a little bit of Vicks. But what I I heard on YouTube that this, this is really, really good. Natural mint oil, cooling and refreshing. Clears clears airway when breathing. Relief of nasal congestion due to cold. What's this? Packed with natural essential oils, not medicated. So we're gonna try this and see if it works. Um, this nose. I bought some playing cards just to have in the house in case we want to play some cards. I remember when I was young, every Friday or Saturday night, religiously, me and my mom used to always play Rummy 500. We had a notebook and a pad, a pad and a pencil, a pen, and the notebook was just filled with Mandy and mom. Our scores. And we were playing that all that she beat my ass every night, every time. But now it's my turn to beat my kids' ass, so might I might I might play with them. And first I need to show them how to play and then play with them. So I bought this to have in case we want to play. I bought this um what do you call these things? Like little juices, sticks that you put in your water to make it taste better. I like this one. The pink lemonade comes 10 in there. 10 singles to go. I like this to put in my water, especially when it's lunchtime. I drink water at work, but when I lunch, I like to put this in my lunch when I eat my lunch. And have a little flavor in my water. I bought this from Flamingo tape dispenser so I could take it to my job. So I can have my little own tape dispenser. The only bad thing about this is once the tape finishes, there's no way of refilling it. Which is sad because it would be cool to ref... Maybe I could. Hold on, water better. Maybe I could refill it. I just gotta be careful. Oh, look, it comes apart. So maybe I can refill it. Yes, I just gotta be very careful when I put it in. But I bought this for my job, so I could have it there, so I could have my own tape dispenser. I like this it. cute, the flamingo. All right. Then, as you guys know, Dollar Tree sells um phone cases, and I came across. I have an iPhone XR, and I came across the case. This is like a dusty rose, and it has like a little mirror that you could look. You see, and. For a dollar, you can't go wrong. So you could switch up your phone cases. Then I bought a leopard one. Of course, I have to have leopard. I love leopard. And it's an XR case. So, whoop, whoop. And then I bought these screen savers. I like these screen savers. I never had a problem with these screen savers. They're pretty good. They work. I mean, I, my phone has dropped. And thank God it hasn't cracked. And it fits an iPhone XR and 11. So I bought two of them to have on standby. Okay, I got that. Now, oh, and I bought these two lipsticks. I won't try them on because I already have a lipstick. As a matter of fact, from Dollar Tree, I bought this, the Maybelline one. The little, this little, like a little squeezable one. That's what I have on for Maybelline. But this one is like a crayon. And to be honest with you, I smelled them, and I don't really like the smell. It smells like crayons, and I don't like, it smells like wax crayons. I, the color's so pretty, but I don't think I could tolerate the taste of crayon or wax on my lips. This one, not so much, but this one right here, which is called, oh my God, Perfect Pear Lip One Crayon. And I don't even know the color. The number says 122.8. I think the lashes is getting a little bit loose in the front. <laughs> when I look down. 120, 122.8 as an apple. And then this one is... Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color. And this color is... I can't read this, guys. Looking for truffle. The number is A as an apple, three, six, two. 
okay i like mauve colors I, I i like mauve earth tone light brown you know depending on the season when i have a nice tan i could use like a peach color pink it depends but for the fall like this i like soft colors then i bought these roses because today like i said is valentine's day and i'm gonna go like i lost my grandmother a couple years ago so i'm gonna go visit her today at the cemetery and i'm gonna bring her some roses you know i don't like to buy real roses because they just die fast so i like to buy her roses flowers from the dollar tree i buy bunches of them and just put it there according to the season there goes my milky milky because somebody he thinks he hears somebody at the door in the hallway okay milky so he's my guard dog milky come here milky he's my guard dog he hears anybody in the hallway he want to bark like he's a wop wilder meanwhile him my baby come here milky let me show you let me see if he wants to be in the camera but anyway, I bought, I bought her these, so I'm going to go visit her at the cemetery today. I bought her this, you know. Come here, puppy. Let me see if you want to be in the camera today. Come here. Let me see. Come here. Mm, I don't know. Then I bought this for him. I bought him. Did I finish the story with my grandmother? Like, I buy her different roses, different flowers according to the season. Like, you know, we go, we all go, we buy her Christmas, birthday, uh, Thanksgiving, Easter. Like, we always decorate her, her tombstone. And I, at least I do. I make it my business to go as often as I can and, and decorate. We always decorate my grandma's tomb. She was a beautiful lady. She always, very sassy, very this. So, my family always takes make sure that her grave site is just beautiful you know so that's what's my plans today is to go to my grandmother visit her need a little bendicion, talk to her maybe tell a little bit gossip just sit there with her because you know where we got her tomb her, her grave site there's like a bench i mean it's freezing cold out here in new york right now it's cold but um i sit there with her we talk i tell her Whatever I feel, I had a like a wonderful, wonderful relationship with my grandmother, and I tell her about Chinche. I talk about family members. You know how Puerto Ricans do. That's the way we do. <laughs> I'm like Tita, tu sabes que this is the Tita, you know that the real. Did you pay this, Marisol? That I don't know. <laughs> Those are my aunts. <laughs> if they see my video, they're gonna curse me out. But anyway, I want to go talk to my grandmother today. <laughs> Maybe talk about my kids. Because, you know, they stress me out too, you know. So, <laughs> anyway, that's what all my plans is. Go talk to my grandma. Anyway, um, I bought this for Milky to put it underneath his tray. So, you have a little, uh, a little mat. It's called Pet Bowl Mat. So he could hit his little area in the hallway look a little cute. So I bought that for him. It's like a dish rack. You know how we put the dishes to soak, you know, to dry? That's how I feel. It's cushiony. And this is the only color they had. It matches my hallway because the floors is wood too. So, it's not. But I can't remember what color is his, fish, his um, bowl. I don't know. Let me see what color is his bowl. Hold on. Give me a second. What color is that? Oh, it's navy blue. Oh, his, um, it's not gonna match. His bowls is blue. Oh, well, I might have to get him a bowl that's brown, maybe, right? To make it look cute. Because right now it's navy blue. Hmm, okay. Now, arts and craft. I am not a crafty person at all. My mom is, and I don't know why I didn't get that jean. I, I can be when it's, when I dedicate myself to it. Like, if I have to do something, like I'll focus on it, but just because oh I just want to do a uh D what is it do it yourself do it like a DIY I, I'm not that oh you know what Saturday now I'm gonna do a, a craft I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do a DIY no nah, Amanda's not like that I I would love to be a crafty person but I don't have that talent I don't have that skills but anyway Tommy my middle child he bought um. 
um, some canvases to paint. He bought some paint, he bought some um, brushes. He's like, mom, let's have a sip and paint, you know? I said, okay, cool. So he said, I got some, I bought some materials, all right. So he brought it here, so we're gonna have a sip and paint. Last, two weeks ago, we were playing Uno card, we were playing Uno on the on our phones, and I was like, oh no, I don't like this. I wanna play the actual Uno card game. So I went, I bought some Uno, but then uh, we were drinking, and we are drinking Four Locos. If you're from Brooklyn, New York, you know what Four Locos is. <laughs> That shit was <laughs> that shit will creep up on your ass. So we were sipping on some four locos and playing Uno cards. When that four loco kicked in, Alex Sensation was playing on the radio and I was dancing, I was getting hot. We kept taking breaks. We we uh we had something to eat. So we had a cool night, just him and I playing uh Unos and drinking some four locos. Now we want to do sip and paint. So he bought the canvases, he bought the brushes, and bought some paints. So when I went to the Dollar Tree, I said, oh, you know what? They have a little arts and crafts section. Let me see what else I could find for us to, you know, spice it up. So I bought some more brushes. Because in my, in my Dollar Tree, they, I, I, well, I guess there's not a lot of um, crafty people in Brooklyn because um, there's not much on that, uh, that aisle for us. I'm gonna go check Queens today. I'm gonna go to, am I right after? Because the cemetery is the borderline Queens in Brooklyn. Uh, I'm gonna go to the, the Dollar Tree in Queens and see what they have there. But I bought any brush. I'm talking a lot, right? God, like this is like the most I talked in my three videos. Jesus, so I bought some brushes there. Then I bought the little, th he didn't have the, the, the thing to put the paint. So I bought some of these and it comes six in here. It's an art palette, so we could, you know, pour some paint in there and, and pick it from there instead of, you know, you know what I mean, right? So, yeah, that's what I got for us. I bought this roller cutter because I bought some contact paper for the cabinets in my kitchen. So, I want to redo my cabinets. I know this is off, off topic, but I bought some contact paper from Amazon, and it's supposed to be waterproof contact paper to cover the cabinets made for the kitchen so i needed something to cut a nice straight line through the contact paper so i bought this hopefully this works because i want to give my little kitchen a little makeover you know so let's see how that works out now i just peel the shit off and call it a day but anyway i'm gonna try <laughs> do this okay then when he bought the canvases he didn't have a stand i said oh i think dollar tree sells like the the easels okay i'm gonna get and i found two clear because the canvases is white so now i got clear so now we could put our canvases and paint and we you know look a little bit more professional so we got i got two of these i'm so excited i can't wait to do this i don't know why i'm gonna paint i'm not no artist the only thing i know how to do is a house a basic house like Boom, boom, boom. Little windows. I put a little chimney with a little smoke coming out. Little birds flying and the sun halfway from the corner of the page. Put a little That's basically, that's all I know. That's like the only house I know how to do since the little girl. So we're going to have to Google something and, and put it on my iPad so we can have a bigger screen and just paint from there. But it should be fun. Especially we're drinking Four Locos again. Forget about it. I'm going to be Picasso that night. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, I bought these things that we could paint. I love owls. You see my son, he gave me an owl for Christmas. The charm for an owl. I love owls. So I saw the owl there, so I'm going to paint owl. And I'm going to give it to Tommy so he can take it to his house and he can remember me. But, oh, look, my mom painted this for me, you know. How they used to do for me when they went to school and they would paint something to bring it back home to me and I had a piles and piles of, of, of art crafts that they did for me when they were young. Now it's my turn to do it to them. So I'm, I'm doing it for, for all three of them. Let me see. How many come in here? Oh, two or three? Two. So I'll probably do the butterfly for passion and the two hours for the boys and let them keep that as a... Uh, what is it called? Keep safe? What is it? When they memories like they could keep. <laughs> and then Tommy, he loves elephants. So I know I bought him the elephant. 
It comes with the lion and it comes with the gorilla. So I know he's gonna paint the, the elephant. I know he's gonna end up giving me the elephant. We're gonna exchange it so we can have memories of that day that we did our sip and paint. So I'm gonna want him to give me one elephant and I'm gonna give him an owl. And then this one, oh, I forgot to say, this one is a ladybug. It looks like a ladybug, right? The owl and the butterfly. So I bought that. Then I bought some googly eyes. Maybe we could put the googly eyes on the owl or on the elephant, you know? It has different sizes. So I bought the eyes. And I have glue there, so we could just paste it on and do that. Then they also have these, um, my mom crochets, my mom knits. She, she's real talented with her, with her crocheting stuff. And she taught me how to crochet. But only thing I know how to do is a blanket. That's, you want me to crochet? I could crochet you a blanket. No problem, a blanket. And I didn't know one stitch. But my mom is very creative. She does hats, she does toilet seat covers, she does scarves, she does sweaters, she does everything. You name it, she does it. Anyway, so they have this uh, cross stitch kit. So I bought this, I bought one for each of my kids because Kevin, this one has P for passion. I'll do one for her or she could do it herself. Then K for Kevin and T for Tommy and then A for Amanda. So may I, I'll probably do this like a family night which I don't know when that will happen because I always have one and now two of them and one is missing. If I have one and two is missing, like it's really hard to get all three of them all together. Now that they're grown, they have their own lives. It's like different schedules. So it's really hard to get my kids together like at one time to have family night or have family time. You know, I, as they get older, it's hard. I have to make appointments with them and it's being rushed. Like, okay, mom, yeah, all right, I gotta go. All right, you know, that's, that's what happens when they get big. They get their own lives, they do their own thing. So I'm gonna try and do this with them, see what happens. Then I bought last item. I bought this container because I wanna reorganize my room. Oh my God, and I've been procrastinating on this so much because I'm fear of my drawers. My drawers, they, they need to get, like, I need to just, it's not messy. It's just I have so much stuff. Like, my closet, I need to empty out my closet. Stuff that I don't use. I, ho I hold on to things. Like, my drawers, I don't even know what's in the bottom of my drawer because I'm always taking out from the top, you know? Like, I just got to take a day, a weekend, and clean out those drawers. Hey, hey, clean out those drawers. So I bought this because on my top dresser, I have a small drawer, it's a skinny drawer, but I have all my accessories there, like my jewelry, my custom jewelry, my um, watches, my nails. So I bought this to probably put something there to keep it organized so it won't move around like little things so they won't move around the drawer, you know? So that's what I bought this for, hopefully. I know it's going to fit, but I just got to figure out what I'm going to put in there. Anyway, my peeps. This is all I had to show you on my third haul. I think after my fifth video, I'm going to stop naming them and numbering them because I'm not going to be able to keep track. But this is officially my third video. I hope you like it. You got to you gotta see a little bit more of who I am and how I am. Like, I am, like, a bug out. Like, I'm, like, loud. Um, just loud. Like, even my kids, like, Mom, why are you talking so loud? I'm right here. I was like, because I'm Puerto Rican. That's how we talk. I don't know. This is we just extra like that. Um, so I hope I don't get annoying to you guys. But I am a true down to earth person, and you got to see a little bit of that in me today. Maybe it's my eyelashes that's making me feel cute. I don't know. Boop, boop. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's my eyelashes that's making me feel some type of way. Well, anyway, I have one more haul. And I am going to make a video right quick to show you what I have in the boy's Valentine's bag. Mine is, just, mine is Passion because Passion, I already gave it to him. Like I said, I wish I would have made a video of it. But I'm going to show you what I got for the boys in their Valentine's bag. And then I'm going to film another haul. And then I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to go visit my grandma. 
and then I'm gonna go visit the Dollar Tree in Queens and see what I pick up there. And then I'll combine it with the haul that I wanna do next. So I'm gonna hold off on recording that haul in case I find something in the Dollar Tree there today in Queens, okay? So anyway, my peeps, have a wonderful, happy Valentine's Day. Um, enjoy yourself with your loved ones. Be safe. Um, love each other. Take care of each other. Life is too short, and we can't think we can't take things for granted. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I, give me a thumbs up, like it, subscribe comment in the bottom but remember be nice i don't want no negative energy in my channel it's all positivity all good vibes here we're gonna bug out we're gonna talk i'm gonna be as real as i can i know i've slipped away and i've said a real, real, real bad words there but nothing so bad but it slipped out because that's how we are in brooklyn new york we keep it real this is what it is. This is what you see is what you get. You're going to have see me in good days, looking all cute. And you're going to see me in bad days with a baseball cap with no makeup and just like, uh -huh, I just got up and just rolled out of bed and just, let's go. You know what I mean? So, damn it, I got my pick. Um, so, basically, if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy my energy, if you enjoy me as a person, subscribe. Be part of my family. Help me grow so I could be known in the YouTube community. And let me know what guys you think. What name should I give my channel? Dimples? Brook Dimples? What is it that I said? Dimples from Brooklyn? Or Brooklyn Diva? I don't want to give a specific thing like couponing diva or, or you know, something with, you know, a specific thing. Because, like I said, I do coupon, but I also want to bring couponing into this channel. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to bring you in the kitchen with me. Show you how I cook. Especially when it's our Puerto Rican tradition when we make certain things. Um, I'm going to take you to Dollar Tree. Like, show you a little bit of my kids. Let's talk about myself. So it's, it's going to be a whole, it's going to be broad, my channel. I'm not going to focus on one specific thing, you know? So let me know what you think. Dimples from Brooklyn or Brooklyn Diva? Or I just keep it as simple as Amanda, Amanda's channel. I just want to be out there and be like, oh, yeah, go check out that girl from Brooklyn. Her name is Brooklyn Diva. Her channel is lit. <laughs> Let me stop. My kids hate when I talk like this. But anyway, I just want to be like, yo, you, see, you follow that girl from YouTube? Her name is Dimples from Brooklyn. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I want to know. I think I like Dimples from Brooklyn. What do you think? Hey, go check out that channel. Her name is Dimples from Brooklyn. Okay. All right, my peeps. I've been talking a lot. You would think I can put it on a cotogra. Oh, my Jesus Lord. Talking like a parrot. Oh, let me stop. <laughs> let me end it. I feel I feel good today. I, it feels like a good day. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoy my haul. Please, please subscribe, like, and comment. Become a family, a member of my family, and we'll just kick it. All right? Talk to you later, my peeps. Bye.